G'day, this is Charlie, and in this video, I'm going to go through a really cool productivity booster uh, using Gmail. Now, I use Google Apps a lot uh, within my business. I like the whole contiguous interface. I like that it in, um, I can share information and I can have multiple multiple devices accessing things. I also like uh, that I can share uh, various parts of my accounts with uh, various support people as well so that it helps me get things done and it helps my clients get things done as well. Now, one of the big things that I had uh, had problems with with Gmail was that once you log into a Gmail account, you're logged into a Gmail account. If you want to go and access another Gmail account, let's say in my case, uh, I have my own personal uh, Gmail account or my, my own personal apps account where uh, people speak to me directly. But then I have my help desk account and I have uh, my tech team account. Now, my help desk account normally sends email straight through to uh, my, my help desk system but every now and again I need to go and make sure that things aren't getting caught in spam uh, or you know sometimes I just need to go back and look at the original message and see what's going on because sometimes things go a bit screwy um, and yeah my tech team that's monitored by one of my one of my tech staff but every now and again I need to get into it to reply to a message or um, check, check a thread uh, pull some information out from a, a previous job so that we can make sure that things are being updated properly now when you've got um, three accounts and you've got a login and log out and login and log out it can get really 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 painful well recently Google introduced uh, multiple accounts so you can log into one Google account and then from that Google account uh, actually access a couple of Gmail accounts all from the one interface so what I'm going to do today is just show you how that works and how cool it is for um, your productivity particularly if you're a, a VA or a tech support person and you need to share multiple accounts amongst people or you want to you know your, your client saying to you look could you just monitor my mail and let me know if there's something there that I need to access but you don't want to have to uh, get in and out all the time and log in and out or set them up on your desktop um, email system like Outlook or Thunderbird or something and have their mail come to you as well you can actually uh, monitor their email through this cool little system so let's get started and have a look um, first of all we go to uh, the Gmail interface so we go to gmail.com or uh, if you've got an apps landing page you go to your apps landing page I'm just going to log in from the standard Google Google page um, because most apps accounts can now be accessed through the standard Google a cage um, cage page so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head to uh, gmail.com just make sure we're on the right page and this is the page you'll see and on the right hand side you'll see it says sign in with your Google account so I'm going to sign in oh, help if I could spell uh, with my standard email account the one that I use for everything and I'm going to click sign in okay so I've logged into my account um, and you'll see that I've themed my account a little I've changed the interface I spend so much time in it I like it to look pretty um, so I've themed my account using one of the Google themes and you know later on I'll show you how we can do that uh, now I have blanked out the um, messages screen so that you can't see who's sending me messages uh, but you'll get a feel for how the screen is laid out once we enter this account, um, we've only got this account ac accessible to us, of course. But from within this account, I can now go and, um, and it doesn't matter, it's, it doesn't have to be this account, it can be any Gmail account. I can now go and access other um, Gmail accounts from here. So uh, the way I do that is up here on the top right hand side where it says, uh, Charlie at AskCharlieLatham.com, my email address. If I drop that down, you'll see that uh, we have a couple of options here. We've got um, my, our name and our email address, the ability to set privacy settings and our account settings. We're not going to do that at the moment. Uh, we're looking at, we've got the, uh, who the account is managed by. And then at the bottom, we've got the ability to sign out or the ability to switch accounts. So I'm going to go and click on switch accounts. Now that I've done that, you'll see the interface changes. I've got a big tick next to my name. Um, my name is the default account. So this is my default email account. Then it gives me the ability to sign in to other accounts 
or to sign out of all account. So I'm going to go and sign into another account. Now you'll notice that when you do it opens a new screen uh, and it sends you to the login screen again. Uh, there are some instructions over here about what you can use multiple sign-in for. You can do it for calendar, Gmail, voice, reader, finance, sites, code, um, and for Google Apps accounts for Docs as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can have a look at um, this and go through it. Just be aware of the uh, limitations and the things that you're confirming yourself for here when you do use this feature. Um, the account you're currently using is displayed at the top most Google product pages. Um, always be, make sure you're using the account that you want. So it's saying that it is going to change your account that you're looking at. So make sure that if you want to send something for, through one account that you're in the right account. Um, not all of the Google products uh, support multiple sign-in at the moment. So if you're going to switch between Google products, um, the account you're currently using may change. You will be prompted and the a box does pop up to tell you that. Um, Google products not listed above will default to the first account that you signed into using your web browser session. So in this case, uh, everything that's not listed above, if I go to one of the Google products, it will use my Charlie at Ask Charlie Leatham um, account. And you can't use offline mail and offline calendar. Now I've got to say I don't use it, so uh, that doesn't bother me uh, too much. Okay, so now that I've gone through what you can and can't do, I'm going to log into uh, my ticket system so that I can have a look at my tickets. So you enter your username and password for your um, second account that you want to access. Click on sign in. And you'll see now that I'm in tickets at Ask Charlie Latham, you'll see that here at the top on the right hand side. You'll also see that I use a different theme on this account so that um, I actually get some visual representation that I'm in the right account. Pretty important for me because I, I can get pretty busy. Um, and then if I want to switch back between accounts, just drop the uh, bar down where it says tickets at Ask Charlie Latham. I'll get the switch account option, click on that. Uh, and I want to go back to my Charlie at Ask Charlie Latham, so I just click on that again, and voila, I'm logged back into my own mail, but if I go back um, and just click on Switch Accounts, you'll see that I am still logged into the multiple accounts, so I am able from here to view multiple accounts from within the one browser session, uh, rather than having to log in and out all of the time. Like I said, this is a really big productivity tool for me. Um, it certainly has made my life a lot, lot, lot easier. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, and if you need any assistance uh, with your Google Apps, it's one of the services that we do provide is um, helping people set up their Google Apps account. Take care, guys. Bye.